What is going on lads? We're back with another player pack review. This time we're taking a look at the new players player transfers pack and as you can see there they are available on a nominating contract. So we're going to check out another video there of mine later on um, how to get a free five star nominating contract uh, as there seems to be a free one every month. But for now we're just going to focus on reviewing these players. There's a couple of gems in there but for the most part I would say hold tough on the nominating contracts unless you really want one of these players or you want to get one or two of the lads that I really do recommend. So we're going to go in here and we'll see that there are, I think it's 11, no, it's 13 players. So as you can see there, lads, I have two five-star nominating contracts and three four-stars. So I can get any of these for the four-star, that's not a problem. I might actually get uh, Ketelair from AC Milan, he looks like an absolute boss. But you've got all the new transfers that have been gone and happening in the summer transfer window. A couple of the most notable ones. So Rudiger's in there with Real Madrid, Sterling at Chelsea, Pogba at Juventus, Perisic at Spurs, Onana at Inter, Nunes at Liverpool, um, Wijnal at Ajax, um, and so on. Phillips at City and so on and so on, right? So we're just going to give a quick run through of these. We are going to head over to eFootballDB in a second and check them out. I'm not going to spend a massive amount of time on them because if I don't really recommend somebody, I don't think there's much there's much point in like going in and doing a full profile review of them because obviously I haven't played like multiple matches with all of these players. But there's a couple of key stats that you can look out for and then you kind of weigh it up with your knowledge of the game and is there players in positions for like really cheap GP that you could actually get instead of wasting a five-star nominating contract on one of these? So starting with the right winger here, Mendez, again, like his 68 speed and 70 acceleration just completely turns me off him straight away. I know he's 79 overall. He's got 25 levels that he can boost up, but you're never going to get that speed past the 80, man. You're never going to get it up there without using literally every single thing. And then you're going to have mid 70s for all the rest of the stats. He's a hard pass for me, even as a four star. Wijnal, again, not the best right back. I don't think he's got 26 levels. He's got some nice stats actually here. Um, true pass and way to pass. He seems to be a, a bit of a baller. Um, and he was very good. His standard card is actually probably better than this one, in my opinion. 80 speed or a 79 speed, 80 acceleration. I would probably pass on him as well. That's just my opinion. If you're IX fans, I do apologize. We've also got a Selic here who's an offensive left or right back as well. Again, he faces the same problems. You're not going to be getting end game players. Now, if you want to have a three star or four star squad and you have a four star nominating contract, these guys are beasts, man, and it's free to get the nominating contracts. These guys are beastly players when you train them up because they're going to go into the mid-80s and anything that you probably put the stats into, but they're just not going to be game changers. This guy's got unwavering form. He's also got C rating this week. Um, so again, I probably really kind of ignore those. And even these two here, Skamaka, obviously playing with West Ham. Again, 67 acceleration. You're just wasting your time with players like that. There's a load of players on the market that have better stats than this guy in finishing, in heading, even though he's really tall. There's a lot of players that you could buy. Um, Onuahu, or what's his name? Onuahu? Anuha, I can't think of his name, can't pronounce his name, but there is a lot of really good center forwards with good pace. I mean, even Ibrahimovic would be better than him, and he's quite cheap in the game, in my opinion, or Falcao or somebody like that, Cavani. Um, and De Kettler, he's got really nice stats. Now, the reason why I might actually get him is he's a player that I actually like to watch, and AC Milan, obviously, um, are going to have the players really nicely in it. He's got, as far as I know, a nice player scan as well. You can see there, he's got B rating for this week as well. So he might be a bit of fun just to switch it up and train him out. I like playing with the youngsters, but at least he's got a nice nucleus of base stats. He's got 74 offensive awareness, 76 dribbling and ball control. His low pass is 75. His finishing is even 74. So you could play him as a little SS, linking up the play, finesse shots and stuff. He has unwavering form as well, which I like for, you know, longevity. Heel trick, one touch pass, true passing, double touch. Seems to be a bit of a baller and I do like the look of him. So I probably will end up getting him. I would recommend to get him if you have a four star nominating contract, just lying down at the back of a couch somewhere. Um, next up, we've got Witzel. Uh, Witzel is probably one that I would ignore as well. 54 acceleration, lads. He's going to be like Nemanja Matic 2.0. It's just not worth it for the speed. Speed is what you need. A little base of speed. I'm not saying everyone needs to be Mbappe and everyone needs to play with Son and Mbappe, Romario and Messi in centre of the field. But you do need to have a player with a nice base of stats that he's able to get up and down the pitch. And I just think that there's so many anchormen there out there that can do a job for you. 
even if you just want a complete stopper, if you don't even, like, say Sergio Busquets. Sergio Busquets is really cheap to buy. Nico Gonzalez from uh, Barcelona, just off the top of my head. They're so cheap to buy, and they'll do a way better job for you than somebody like Witzel, who is just way too slow to get up and down the pitch. And on top of that, if you're using an anchorman, he's only got 69 defensive awareness as well, so I would definitely pass on him. I'm going to leave Nunes for a second because we are going to check out DB for him. Phillips and uh, Pogba... Phillips again, I like Phillips, he's got nice aggression, he's got nice stamina, he's going to be able to get up and down the pitch quite well, he's 82 overall but he has he has 30 levels to go, he's got unwavering form, he is 26 so you will need a manager that isn't a youth manager if a lot of people are playing like that, and he's got some nice passing skills as well for a DMF, he's got one touch pass, weighted pass, lofted pass, and um, on top of that then he's got interception and man marking, I would like to see him get blocker, but he is kind of just that really um, solid anchorman. So I think if you are going to be playing him, I think he's a good option to get. You can bring his acceleration up to 70, his defensive awareness up to like 80, his tackling up to 80, his defensive engagement up to 80, all the way past into the mid 80s. And then his passing is good enough that you can actually play him as a Sergio Busquets type player who I think is a really good DMF. But even somebody like Tenali. Tenali is a beast DMF. He goes up to like 93 overall, just his playing card as far as I know. And he is probably a better option than most of these guys. So I would don't think he's worth a five star. Pogba as well. Similar issues for Pogba. His stats just aren't enough. And being a United fan, get in the bin. I wouldn't get Pogba lads just simply because of that. <laughs> anyway, we're going to move on to Perisic. I just think Pogba is not good enough, man. He's not good enough in the game um, to be able to dominate midfield. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody to change the dial for you. 69 offensive awareness is quite poor for a winger, but he is kind of more of an attacking midfielder SS type player. I think Link and everything. He's not a pace whore. He's not somebody like that that's going to be like blistering pace. Um, he's got very nice base stats. Like he's got all mid 70s to high 70s stats, which is always good. And then on top of that, he's got nice stamina. He can play multiple positions. So yeah, he's not a bad player to get. If you're a Spurs fan or you're an Inter fan that you liked Perisic when he was with him, he is a very decent lad. And I think he can play a lot of different positions as well. And we also have Sterling, who we'll take a look at in a second. There are the three boys we're going to look at in more detail. Onana, again, as I always repeat, lads, you do not need a goalie once you get Donnarumma. Donnarumma, in my opinion, is the best keeper bar none. If you're looking for a cheap option, I have a load of budget buys, which I will be revamping because they have changed a couple of the pricing. Oblak is now an option as well. He's not like, you know, you don't have to be the Monty Burns of eFootball to buy him now. And I think he's a good option as well. But you've got a lot of players like Fraser Forster, Forster for a really cheap one. Ramsdale is a beast of a goalkeeper for a cheap goalkeeper. Um, Lafont, the French guy, uh, the Leeds keeper, Messlier, he's a really good keeper. You've got a load of them. You've got a lot. Rui Patricio is a good one as well. I don't think Onana is going to be worth it. So moving on to the main guys, right? We're going to start with Nunes, okay? And I am going to go over to eFootballDB.com here. And we are going to check out Nunes maxed out. So these levels, obviously, on the player card need to be updated a small bit. I think the lads are working on it. But he has 25 levels here. So we've maxed out his stats as per 25 levels, 91 overall. So he goes up a 10, a 10 overall, which is quite decent um, upgrade for this. And you can see his base stats here, right? So his base stats here are, as you can see, He's got 82 speed and 83 acceleration. He's also got 80 defensive engagement, which is a very, very weird stat to have. But I think it makes it work because when you are pushing and you're geek pressing and you're attacking really heavy with Nunes, he is a monster at it. His standard card in eFootball 22 was a monster with it. Now, he doesn't have super sub. He did have in his older card. He doesn't have super sub, but he does have nice stats for finishing offensive awareness. And if we check on eFootball DB here, lads, and we take a closer look, you can see that his speed is 90 and 90, 84 finishing, 82 kicking power, and 87 stamina. So that's leaving him with a quick counter of 80 overall. I think it's pretty decent. Now, his standard card is actually really decent as well, and he goes up to 37 levels. He has a new player there, but he actually really rivals this card, like uh, very much so, like very much so. But I think if you are not wanting to waste any GP, He's going to 29,000 GP. That'll probably go up um, in the new eFootball 23. But I think that he is definitely one to buy. And especially, you know, uh, if you are a Liverpool fan, you're going to want to get him as well. So we also have Raheem Sterling, right? So again, looking at Raheem Sterling's base core stats back in eFootball 2023, we have him here. 
we have him as an 83 left winger he's got incredible stats i think the only thing that lets him down is his dribbling so that's what we really need to focus on speed is good um when we go back over to football db we have 92 and 93 in acceleration and speed and then we have 87 dribbling so that's quite decent now you could if you wanted to you could kind of mess around with that and try and get a little bit higher dribbling. You get maybe one up and then put one onto shooting or whatever. He still stays as a 93 overall, but you do have that 88 dribbling with 91 speed and 92 acceleration. So that would be another option. It's going to be pretty much the same. But uh, yeah, he's got some really nice player cards as well. As you see here, he's got scissors feint, chop turn, cut behind and turn. So I think he's definitely worth a punt if you're looking for a winger, definitely. And you don't get... Um, you know, you don't have a decent winger in your squad. And last but not least, we have got Rudiger from Real Madrid. Obviously, he goes up to 23 levels. So on first look, I was thinking, right, this guy's got really nice stats on wavering form. He's got aerial superiority. He's 190 CM. He's got interception, man marking, heading, and sliding tackle. He doesn't have blocker, which I think is a bit of a, a bit of a kick in the arse for him. But he has got some really nice stats when you actually peel away a couple of layers of his card right so if we go over here and we take a look at him and we take a look at rudiger he is maxed out at that at 23 levels so he is going to be a bit of a beast for you he's got 90 jump 91 acceler or physical contact 94 aggression 88 defensive awareness and 88 tackling very 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 nice and again he's got the unwavering form speed 80 75 acceleration he will be a bit of a monster for you. If, you're, if you don't have somebody like Up and Meccano, if you don't have somebody like um, Van Dyke or somebody like that, I think he is probably the pick. Him and Nunes, I would say, are probably the pick of the players in it, simply because they are going to be beasts for you. But that is it for me, lads. I won't keep you much longer than that. I tried to keep these short and sweet, but hopefully we cover everything. Let me know if you guys are actually going to spin, pack or skip. What do I say? Spin or skip, yeah. Yeah, let me know what you guys are going to do. Let me know if any of these guys are worth it. And if you've got them, let me know how they play. And uh, I will probably get one or two. But let's see who I do sign in my next episode of Dream Team Chronicles. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be talking to you later. Peace.